Hi, this is Bodhi Itwe, and this is your NWI.com daily news update for Friday, February 3rd. Dozens of people gathered outside Calumet City's police headquarters Thursday night calling for the ouster of the mayor and police chief following a police shooting that left an autistic teen dead a day earlier. At a candlelight vigil, protesters blamed Mayor Michelle Marks Markowicz Qualkenbush and Police Chief Edward Gilmore for the death of 15-year-old Stefan Watts. Gilmore said the two officers involved in the shooting were justified in their actions, a statement that the Watt family disputes. Watts family. Ah, I can, ugh, fuck, it's gonna be rough. Hi, this is Bodie Itwe, and this is your NWI.com daily news update for Friday, February 3rd. Dozens of protesters gathered outside Calumet City's police headquarters Thursday night, calling for the ouster of the mayor and police chief following a shooting that left an autistic teen dead a day earlier. At a candlelight vigil, protesters blame, blamed Mayor Michelle Markowicz Qualkenbush and Police Chief Edward Gilmore for the death of 15-year-old Stefan Watts. Gilmore said the two officers involved in the shooting were justified in their actions, a statement that the Watts family disputes. Several pastors and officials with the South Suburban chapter of the NAACP worked with, fifth, worked with fourth ward alderman Brian Wilson to coordinate the vigil. The officers are on paid administrative leave while Illinois State Police are investigating the shooting. Employers went on a hiring spree in January and drove down the unemployment rate for a fifth straight month to 8.3 percent, its lowest point in nearly three years. The result pointed to a resurgent job market and it sent stock futures surging. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, futures for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which were flat before the report, jumped more than 100 points. The economy created 243,000 net jobs in January, the most in nine months, and the unemployment rate fell to ticks. Even with the gains, the job market faces a long way back to full health. The nation has about 5.6 million fewer jobs than it did when the recession began in late 2007. Protesters upset with Indiana's passage of right-to-work legislation showed up with signs during NBC's Today Show broadcast from downtown Indianapolis's Super Bowl Village. Media outlets reported that dozens of protesters holding or wearing protest signs mixed with NFL fans as Al Roker and Ann Curry reported live, Friday, reported live this morning. Protesters tried to position themselves within camera shot during the broadcast. Governor Mitch Daniels on Wednesday signed a bill passed by the legislature that makes Indiana the 23rd state to ban labor contracts that require workers to pay union representation fees. AFL-CIO leaders announced Wednesday they did not support any attempts to disrupt Super Bowl activities. And finally, read about how, spe how the Special Education Learning Center of Valparaiso is planning a special graduation ceremony for one of its students because of his deteriorating health condition. 19-year-old Brett Lazinski of Chesterton has been battling brain cancer for 10 years, yet still plans to graduate February 19th. Lazinski's family says the ceremony is important to them, albeit difficult, as they enlist the help of hospice nurses to bring comfort to Brett. Read, to, read about Lazinski's, to read about Lazinski and his triumphs, visit NWI.com. Remember, you can stay up to date on all the local news and information at NWI.com and continue checking us out on Facebook, Twitter, or through your iPhone, iPad, or Android-powered device. Thanks for logging on.